In this video, we will apply the concept of LCM and HCF to solve some typical word problems. To solve such problems, divide the solution of the given problem in three steps. First step is to understand the problem. Second is to create the logic and the third step is to calculate it. Let's start with the first problem. Problem states that, find the greatest four digit number which is divisible by 15, 25, 40 and 75. As per understanding of the problem, if the number is divisible by 15, 25, 40 and 75, then the number must be a multiple of these numbers. That is, number must come in the table of 15, 25, 40 and 75. Thus, the logic to solve the problem is LCM. Now, to calculate the LCM, product of each factors with highest powers is considered, which is equal to the product of 2 raised to the power 3 and 5 raised to the power 2 and 3, which is simplified as 8 into 25 into 3 which is further simplified as 200 into 3, which equals 600. But 600 is not a 4-digit number, as 600 is the smallest number that comes in the table of 15, 25, 40 and 75. Therefore, all the multiples of 600 will also be divisible by these numbers. We know that the greatest 4-digit number is 9999. So, if 600 divides 9999, then it will be the required number. Now on dividing 9999 by 600, we get 399 as remainder. So on subtracting the remainder from 9999, the required number is 9600. Moving on to the next problem. Problem 2 states that 6 bells toll at intervals of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12 seconds respectively. In 30 minutes, how many times do they toll together? As per understanding of the problem, time at which all bells will toll together has to be considered. Thus, bells will repeat independently as per the multiples of their respective time periods. That is, first bell will toll in multiple of 2 seconds. Second bell will toll in multiple of 4 seconds. Similarly, the bell 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th will toll in multiples of 6, 8, 10 and 12 respectively. Thus, the logic to solve the problem is LCM. Now, to consider the LCM, product of each factors with highest powers is considered, which is equal to the product of 2 raised to the power 3, 3 and 5, which on simplification becomes 8 into 3 into 5, which is further simplified to give 120 seconds. Since there are 60 seconds in 1 minute, therefore 120 seconds equals 2 minutes. This 2 minutes practically implies all 6 bells will toll together after every 2 minutes. According to question, as total times equals 30 minutes, which is balanced as total time equals common tolling time multiplied by number of times. Therefore, by rules of transposing, number of times the bell ring together equals the ratio of total time to the common tolling time. On putting the corresponding values, we get number of times the bell toll together equals 30 over 2 which is simplified as 15. Now, practically, the timer of 30 minutes will start once all the bells will toll together. Thus, the required number of times the bell will toll together is 15 plus 1, which equals 16. It should be noted that if the question mentions that the bell start together, then there is no need to add 1 to the obtained result. Moving on to the next problem. Problem 3 states that, find the greatest number, which when divides 259 and 465, leaves remainder 4 and 6 respectively. As per the understanding of the problem, the number that divides 259 and 465 is the common factor giving remainder as 0. So there is need to balance the remainder of 259 and 465 respectively to get the common factor giving remainder as 0. Therefore required first number equals 259 minus 4 which equals 255 and second number equals 465 minus 6 which equals 459. Now the number that perfectly divides both the numbers equals the HCF of 255 and 459. Now to calculate the HCF, product of common factors with lowest powers is considered, which is equal to the product of 3 and 17, which is equal to 51. Moving on to the next problem. Problem 4 states that, let n be the greatest number that will divide 1305, 4665 and 6905 leaving the same remainder in each case. We need to find the sum of the digits in the number n. As per the understanding of the problem, if the number divides 1305, 4665 and 6905, then remainder must be equal to 0. Since remainder is not equal to 0, therefore the balancing of these numbers with the remainder is required. 
but constant and variables can't be simplified. Therefore, by using the property, if numbers on dividing by the same number leave same remainder, then the difference of these numbers is perfectly divisible by the same number. Therefore, required first number equals the difference of 4665 and 1305, which equals 3360. Similarly, second number equals the difference of 6905 and 4665, which equals 2240. And third number equals the difference of 6905 and 1305, which equals 5600. Since numbers are four digit numbers, Thus, to calculate the HCF of these numbers, cross division method is preferred. On dividing 3360 by 2240, we get remainder as 1120. Now, 1120 behaves as the divisor, while 2240 acts as dividend. Since 1120 perfectly divides 2240, Therefore, the HCF of 3360 and 2240 equals 1120. Since 1120 perfectly divides 5600, therefore, the HCF of these three numbers that is 3360, 2240 and 5600 equals 1120. Therefore, sum of the digits equals 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 which equals 4. Moving on to the next problem. Problem 5 states that the HCF of two numbers is 23 and the other two factors of the LCM are 13 and 14. Find the larger of the two numbers. Let the first number be A and the second number be B. Since HCF that is number that divides both A and B equals 23, therefore number A can be expressed as the product of 23 and Q1, while B is expressed as product of 23 and Q2 where Q1 and Q2 belongs to integers. Since LCM is the product of each factors with highest powers, which equals the product of 23Q1 and Q2. As factors of LCM is given as 13 and 14, since 14 is greater than 13, therefore the larger number equals 23 into 14, which equals 322. Moving on to the next problem. Problem 6 states that three numbers are in the ratio 3 ratio 4 ratio 5 and their LCM equals 2400. Based on this information, find the HCF of these numbers. Let x be the number that is required for the simplification of the ratios. Therefore, first number equals 3x, second number equals 4x and third number equals 5x. Since LCM is the product of each factors with highest powers, which is equal to the product of 3 into 4 into 5 into x. As the value of LCM equals 2400, therefore equating the product of 3, 4, 5 and x with 2400. On transposing, we get x as 2400 divided by 3 into 4 into 5, which on simplification gives x as 40. Therefore, 40 acts as the HCF for these three numbers. Moving on to the next problem. Problem 7 states that if the product of two numbers is 2028, and the HCF is 13, then we need to find the number of such pairs. Let the first number be A and the second number be B. As 13 is the HCF, that is, 13 divides both A and B. Therefore, A is expressed as 13 into Q1 and B is expressed as 13 into Q2, where Q1 and Q2 belongs to integers. According to the question, product of these numbers equals 2028 Putting the values of A and B as 13Q1 and 13Q2 we get. On transposing we get Q1 into Q2 equals 2028 divided by 13 into 13, which on simplification gives 12. Thus, Q1 into Q2 equals 12. Now, 12 can be expressed as product of 1 and 12, 3 and 4 and 2 and 6. Now, product of 2 and 6 is not possible as HCF is 13. If the pair of factors 2 and 6 is considered, then 2 is also the common factor of 2 and 6. Then HCF equals 13 into 2, which equals 26, which is not possible as HCF equals 13. So the factors of 12 should be the product of co-prime numbers only. Thus, product of 1 and 12 and 3 and 4 is considered. So the first pair equals 1 into 13 and 12 into 13, while the second pair equals 3 into 13 and 4 into 13. Moving on to the next problem. 
problem 8 states that find the greatest possible length which can be used to measure exactly the length of 7 meter, 3 meter 85 centimeter and 12 meter 95 centimeter. Given lengths are made uniform by converting in units centimeter as 700 centimeter, 385 centimeter and 1295 centimeter. As per the understanding of the problem, a length needs to be determined that can divide all the three given lengths. Thus, the logic to solve the problem is highest common factor. Now, to calculate the HCF, product of common factors with lowest powers is considered, which equals 5 into 7, which gives 35 cm. Thus, 35 cm is the length that can measure the length 7 m, 3 m, 85 cm and 12 m and 95 cm respectively. So this was it for the video, see you in the next one, thank you for watching.